reducing carbon emissions has become critical for industries worldwide, especially for the basic material manufacturing sector. Today, let's explore some promising carbon reduction technologies that can make a big impact on reducing CO2 emissions. First, we have Materials Alternative Technology or MAT. This involves replacing materials that generate CO2 with alternatives, such as biomass or non-carbonate materials. For instance, hydrogen can replace coke in steel production, while solid waste can replace raw materials in cement manufacturing. Materials Alternate Technology is a game-changer for industries like building materials and chemicals. Next. Fuel alternative technology or FAT focuses on switching from fossil fuels to cleaner alternatives. Biomass fuels like agricultural waste, and even hydrogen, can replace coal or natural gas. This can significantly reduce carbon emissions, especially in cement, steel, and glass production. Energy Recycling and Reuse Technology ERRT, is all about recycling excess energy from industrial processes. Waste heat, flammable gases, and even steel slag can be reused, boosting energy efficiency and cutting down emissions. Material Recycling and Reuse Technology MRRT, recycles valuable materials like metal and solid waste. Advanced recycling technology not only reduces waste but also minimizes the carbon emissions associated with producing new materials. Finally, Process Reengineering Technology or PRT, aims to revolutionize industrial processes. By using innovative methods such as hydrogen-enriched blast furnaces or CO2 recycling, industries can reduce fossil fuel use and move closer to zero emissions. Many of these technologies are still in development but hold massive potential. These technologies, MAT, FAT, ERRT, MRRT, and PRT, are critical to making industries more sustainable and eco-friendlier. As R&D progresses, we'll see even more impactful ways to lower carbon emissions in manufacturing. Let's embrace these solutions for a cleaner, greener future.